It may look like a Stradivarius, but this classy instrument is modern. A sound designer helps develop it. Here, six high-tech violins are being tested. They will have to prevail in today's increasingly large concert halls against increasingly loud orchestras. Acoustics researchers are trying to give the violin a bigger sound with the help of modern technology. The final adjustments are being made on the acoustic camera. The measuring device has more than 30 microphones to scan the frequency range of the high-tech violin. It measures how quickly the tones are produced and whether the instrument is really giving all it's got. Concertmaster Jörg Hunger has already tested the six experimental violins. He likes the sound of one in particular. The tone of a violin is a very important property. Violins are played for people to hear, so the sound, the acoustics, plays a decisive role. We approach the violin phenomenon via the sound by way of our perception, our hearing. The secret of these high-tech violins is the synthetic resin layer on the inside. It stabilizes the wood. So much so that Blutner could sit on it without breaking the instrument. But he would never do that. The new material allows violin builders to make the instruments thinner in parts than ever before. Because there's more flexibility in the design, there's more scope for designing the sound. You can develop the properties more intensively, like the tone color or brilliance, or particularly voluminous sound. That means you're increasing the sound diversity. The final step is to give the violin an acoustic fine tuning, known as vibration relaxation. The instrument is exposed to certain frequencies to season the material. That helps improve the range of tones and the treatment makes the violin easier to play. Ultimately, it reduces damping in the violin and relaxes it. It's like going to a masseur with a stiff shoulder. You need to be able to move freely the next day, but you can't turn your head. That's the way it is with the violin. The large residual stresses can be reduced to an equilibrium state. Then the violin will sound light and beautiful. And what do the musicians think of the new high-tech violins? Would they choose to play one of these instruments? Yes, I'd certainly take one of them. I'd pick number two. <laughs> no, that's fine. We're going with our orchestra to the Vatican, to the Pope, and we're taking the violins with us. We'll be playing them down there. The new instruments in the land of the old masters. The acoustic scientists who built them are certain that Antonio Stradivari would have chosen to make his violins in exactly the same way. <laughs>